Alrighty, welcome back to another episode of Euro Truck Simulator 2. Oh, well, let's go ahead and see where we're heading off today. So let's go ahead and go to the job market. We'll get another quick job because we really can't afford to be buying another truck. Um, price per distance going up. No, going down. So this is offering us the most. Liege to Duisburg. Not a bad truck. We're working for Stokes. Offer expires in nine minutes. Probably not gonna do that one. Maybe this one, day. ooh. It's quite a long ways. I don't know if we can go that long. Brussels, yep. I think we just found it to Brussels. We'll be getting 2,456 if we can do it in time. Gosh darn it, 32 minutes, we can't. Here's one to Luxembourg to Brussels. We're in Liege, and that's not gonna work. At least I think we're in Liege. Let's figure out where we're at. Um, distance driven 114 kilometers. Where exactly do we check that? Um, world map, maybe? We just go on world map. Oh yeah, we are in Luxembourg. Alright, so the other ones wouldn't have worked. That's alright. Alright, so quick job. Luxembourg, Brussels. That guy will work. So, we home. One hour twenty. You know, I think we're gonna take this guy to Brussels. So let's go ahead and take that job. Alright. Now, I have installed a mod. It is the, <clears throat> excuse me, it is the mod for the shop. So we can, like, uh, whenever we go shopping, we can really spoof up our truck. And you can notice the graphics are bumped up to medium, the highest I can go for this. Unfortunately, it's not great, but there's our load and our truck. Looks pretty good. All right, let's just get going. And again, this is Euro Truck Simulator 2 for Mac, not the first one. Alright, I think... Yep, we're going. Alright. Now we're going to need to make a left here, so we'll get in this lane. <laughs> I just completely cut that truck off. Poor guy. Come on, let's go. What's the hold up? Oh, hey, that's a neat view. That would really help with backing up. Oh, alright. Here we go. Oh, come on. Well, I suppose I wouldn't really be able to go either if this car can't. Of course, this car can at least start to go now. Come on. Thank you. Finally. Jeez. Oh, oh, yep, car, you're staying. Right, we're going to be turning right next, so we'll get into the right lane. All right. Um, let's see, what else is there to talk about? <laughs> it's just the beginning. Well, I think there's a radio up there. If you guys want radio, I'll leave that in the comments. I do have a very important question. I'm hoping to come out with a new Let's Play for X-Plane 10. Oop, don't take this too wide. There we go. For X-Plane 10, I was just wondering, do you guys want it to be like a... Ooh, a garage. Do you guys want it to be like a um, road trip thing where we take an aircraft and we just go wherever you guys want? Or, of course, we'd use the same aircraft and, you know, we'd have to really use our fuel sparingly although i suppose we could fuel up at airports i could fuel up or the other option is do you guys want like a virtual airline where we fly for the ooh new email heck yes uh where we fly for the virtual airlines and we have set routes and set aircraft to fly and we upgrade and the aircraft gets better as we go and you have to be much more careful on the landings and stuff so just leave in the comments what you guys think 
Um, until then, it, it won't be coming out for a little while. In unrelated news, our channel is now upgraded to the new YouTube like channel design thing. Still working on the top banner thing, but I mean, it's, it's alright. Ooh, um, let's see how much sleep we have. So Finn, whoops, Finn F6. Uh, time remaining, 8 hours, next rest in, oh, next rest stop in 10 hours. So yeah, we'll make it, but barely. Then we'll only have 3 hours. So, we should be okay. Alright, we got our lights on now. And this is a little hard on the, like, game, or on the keyboard. So hopefully here soon I'll be upgrading to a uh, gamepad. Ooh, hello there red car, you little speedster. Hey, there's Jarrell on the tractor. I am kind of all over the place because I'm using a keyboard, but hopefully soon I'll be switching to a game controller that it will be compatible with the computer with the Mac. Right, I'm gonna turn on cruise control now. At 89 kilometers an hour. It's kinda of hard to find the straight on this. There we go. Nope. Come on. There we go. I think that's pretty straight. Nope, we're going a little to the left. I wish it would set you straight so you're not having to keep pushing just left and right to kinda of even you out. It's kind of annoying, but what are you gonna do? Oh, and I am using a new microphone. I have been for just the past few episodes of this in Farming Simulator. It's the Blue Yeti. It is a very nice microphone. I got the pop filter by Natty, I think it is. Had to super glue it so it wouldn't, so it would like stay stiff, so it wouldn't just fall whenever you used it or wanted to set it up. But overall, I mean, the actual microphone works great, I think. Um, let's see what else. I, holy cow, fellow, quite a few fellow truckers up there. Let's see if we can pass them. All right, I'm going to take cruise control off and speed up a little, if I can. Cruise control is off. And I think we reached our top speed. So I'm going to put cruise control back on. All right, no one in the left lane. There we go. Whoop, stay in our lane without hitting the rail. Hey there, fellow truckers. Whoop, that was pretty close to the side. Oh man, Pops, Postped, Postped. Ooh, I kinda like that truck. Looks really nice. And we'll go ahead and get in his lane. There we go. Look at that. Real trucking at its best. Oh, probably shouldn't be looking all over. We don't need those lights on. We'll just keep the other lights on. So you can see whenever I hit L twice, the front lights come on. L once just turns like these side lights on. L twice, front, side, front, off. Whoop, sorry there, car who wants to pass me. Just running outside, checking the lights. It appears that we have a full tank, so I don't think we'll be stopping at this fuel stop. Or for rest, because we'll make it all the way. But it is kind of a long ways away just for our second trip. It's not worth a ton, but it's worth something. Uh, make sure you guys are checking out Farming Simulator. We just started on the cows we because we had a great demand on barley I got a full just like a full like uh, what would you call it season of canola that's all planted ooh this this it said I was this was for liege I think we need to get over here cuz I'm yep Brussels is on the left ooh nope just missed it there we go all right, gonna need to slow down up here because this is a pretty sharp turn. What does that red sign mean? I don't know. We'll start slowing down now. I'm not actually braking. I'm just taking off the cruise control. Okay, now I'm braking. There we go. And 
gently make it up this very tight turn. Holy cow. There we go. We got him. What a corner. Alright, now we have to make it all the way back up to speed. Oh hey, there's the hay bales that we could be getting, but instead we decided to invest in cows. Not a bad decision. Although, now we kind of do need the hay to like feed the cows, at least mixed rations. For now, I think we're just going to be using the uh, dried grass. Not quite sure what they call that. But I'll just call it dried grass for now. Something on the dash is speed info. Not quite sure what that means. Ooh, hey. What's going on here? Construction, I see. Hmm. Ooh, doing road work. Holy cow, there's actually a person on there. I guess here in Europe they actually do road work versus putting the signs up and then going home and then coming back and taking the signs down. Of course, in America it takes 10 years to get a road maintenance done. I guess here in Europe they must get that done much quicker. Alright, come on, get it. Oh, hey, we are. Cruise control. It seemed like we were going much slower than we actually were. And honestly, <clears throat> looking at this on medium graphics, it really doesn't look that bad. I mean, it, it I know it could be better because I've seen, but... Oh, alright, Reams or Bruxels. I think we're going to Bruxels to the right, so we'll stay in this lane. Is the speed limit 100? Holy cow. Oh yeah, this is kilometers an hour, not miles. Huh, I think I should change that in the settings. Alright, I think we can make this at our speed. So we'll put our blinker on just so people know we're not turning into their lane. Nope. Turning cruise control off. And speeding back up. Oh no. Please don't stop. Just merge. Alright, we're gonna pass them here even though it was a solid line. Yeah. There we go. Whoop. Whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> Hey, it's three lanes now. How pleasant. How tri -lane -y. I have no idea what that means. Alright, we can get over now into the middle lane. Although I'm not sure if I want to next to this truck. More fuel. We don't need it. We've only lost one bar. We're about 34 kilometers away or 33 minutes. Not too shabby. It really wasn't as far away as I was expecting. I was expecting it to be quite quite a lot for I don't know what I'm saying I was expecting it to be a lot further away all right Rotterdam or Calais hmm our GPS says go straight so I'm gonna stay in the middle because my guess is that the right goes to the right then the two on the left go to Rotterdam or straight and my prediction was correct to Rotterdam Oh hey, look at that, on our GPS we're almost there, it's just right around this corner here, we're going to need to make a right. So, yep, Brussels. We'll take this exit here. There we are. Very nice. Alright, cruise control off, slow down, blinker on. Chicka, chicka, chicka. Yeah, there we go. Oop, coming off there a little bit fast. Brake. There we go, alright. We're going to need to make a right up here, so we'll go ahead and stay in this lane. Ooh, can we make it? Always honk so the green light knows to stay green. True story. All right. All right, so 50. Ooh, hey, that's exactly where we're going. You know, I think I'm going to... Ooh, Brussels discovered. I think I'm going to stay in kilometers an hour. That way I can just match up the numbers without having to do conversions in my head when driving at high mod at high speeds. Alright, come on cars, let's make it before it turns orange. Or in some games, straight to red. Come on, sharper turn. Oop, not too sharp. There we go. Alright, then we turn left here. Here we are. Alright. I think I will try to back it up. So let's go ahead and then just turn this around. 
Let's see if we can back this up for some extra money. Being very sure not to hit anything. There, slowly but surely. Sorry, I'm going ah, kind of silent. This is quite hard to do. Come on, forward. Alright, stop. Turn the wheel. Just a little bit. There we go. There we go. See how many times I can say that while backing this up. T! We did it! Excellent! We did not hit a thing. We traveled all the way to Brussels in less than, looks like, 17 minutes. We're a newbie! Heck yes, we got $3,200 from that 268 XP. We doubled our uh, what, income. No, we doubled our bank account. All right, so these are the skills that we can upgrade. You know, like, you can see some of these are, like, explosives, non-flammable gases, acids, long distance, high value, just in time. And then you see they give you little things like rank one for long distance, delivers up to 350 kilometers, 5% higher reward for delivery, and 25% experience bonus. But then if we look at high value, high value drops offered unlock, 5% higher reward, 18% experience bonus. So it's a little bit worse than long distance, fragile, 5 and 22, 3 and 20, 10 and 10. Then that just allows us to carry like explosives. I think we're going to start with long distance, apply. All right, there we go. Check the emails. All right, drivers with own equipment needed. Ooh, in liege. For skill drivers with their own trucks. Nope, not for us. However, we could pull out a loan, but I think we'll go ahead and save that for next episode. Until then, I thank you for watching, and we are now in Brussels. Tune in next time.